The list of things, and I do a whole seminar on what stops us from changing. It's 20 to 30 specific tools and specific psychologies long. In general, you don't believe in you. You believe that if I continue to do this, I'm going to ultimately fail. So rather than get my hopes up and get my disappointment up, I'll just go ahead and go back to old me now so that I will save myself some disappointment and pain in my future. You don't believe in you. Sometimes it's a function of you don't believe in the tools or technology, but that's a smaller reality. The third final general classification is generally the largest. And that one is, if I change now, oh, there's so many things that also have to change. And you begin looking into your future. My marriage or relationship will change. People that I love will change. Everything about my life will change. It, And I don't know that I know enough. I don't know that I'm certain enough. I don't know if I'm comfortable enough creating that type of change. So I think I'll just do it kind of incrementally if I, I'll just kind of go slow. And if you ever get behind the membership firewall, go look at the 15 Twinkie Theory Tool. That explains in spades why the human mind very rarely, if ever, changes incrementally or progressionally. It always changes massively and radically. It either stops doing what it doesn't want or starts doing what it does want. And if you know that is truly the change mechanism, all the crap leading into it and leading out of it, you can eliminate that. Change now, change now, become the new you, live as the new you, and everything begins to happen differently.